been a long month for John Peacock after being released as Venice High School's football coach. Absolutely. Today he found out he would today he found out he would be getting a second chance. As it ends, Lyndon Blake is in Venice with more. Well, it's a good thing they didn't change that billboard behind me because today Venice principal Eric Jackson reinstated John Peacock as the head football coach. I'm thankful for all the support from everybody and uh, the second chance provided by Mr. Jackson and uh, Venice High administration and I look forward to improving our program and then improving our relationships with other programs as well. It's been 41 days since he was fired for liking one of his players tweets hinting at the skin color of Braden River head coach Kurt Bradley. Was it right? Was it wrong? We're not sure, but we, we love what he's done in the past and uh, hopefully what he's going to continue to do. We want to get this behind us and move forward, and I thank Eric Jackson for his leadership. Sarasota County School Board Vice Chair Jane Goodwin says this is a good move for Venice. He is a proven leader and a proven winner. And even when he was released, he was the first one that jumped out kind of magnanimously and said, it's not about me at this point, it's about the kids. That in itself says a lot about who he is as a person. After Coach Peacock was released, one of Venice's biggest sponsors, Bill Buck Chevrolet, decided they would part ways with the football program. The decision to pull out as a sponsor, like I said, was very, very, very difficult. It was not short-sighted or short thought. The dealership's owner's wife even starting a petition. That was the goal. John Peacock was born and bred to be the head football coach at Venice High School. This was supposed to happen. Jackson stated in a release, Peacock will complete sensitivity training and sit out the first three regular season games. We look forward to, to moving forward to next year and hoping that we'll have another great team. Everybody's going to be really surprised about what Venice brings out this year. I'm not going to call it a comeback because they're still the state champs. Maybe we'll call it a repeat. Reporting in Venice, I'm Lyndon Blake. SNN reached out to Coach Bradley for comment, but no response yet. The story is getting national attention. USA Today published a story on their high school sports page.